because you see these purple kernels here. Generally speaking, or generally you'd say, oh, that's Enogen. Because Enogen has these purple kernels as a tracer for the stuff. Not supposed to get into the food supply. But this actually isn't Enogen corn. This is actually BMR corn. This is that new BMR I'm working with. Beautiful cob. Uh, but they the farm planted two rows Enogen, ten rows BMR in this field. I posted a picture yesterday. And what we're seeing here is the Zyni effect. And the, that, uh, that effect is basically uh, it cross-pollinates. Now, they're hybrids, so it doesn't affect the plant, but it affects the grain. And uh, so anyway, uh, it's kind of a fascinating thing. And there's some real potential here that can be used, uh, probably not so much in lactating diets, but uh, definitely in the, you know, hog market, the chickens, um, you know, potentially in organic dairy where we're looking for more fat. Um, using high oil corn in a sidekick program at a, at a low percentage, like, well, like you said, the 2 and 10, that's probably about right. Um along with a conventional hybrid. So it virtually eliminates the yield drag that you would normally see with a high oil corn, and yet it raises the oil corn of the hundred of all of the corn that's in the product. So just utilizing the Zyni effect for, uh, for performance. Now this farm uh, thought they were maybe gonna get some benefits of the energy trait uh, along with their BMR. You know that's a whole nother uh, whole nother discussion. You kinda, but um, this is just kind of a fascinating example of that Zyni effect. So talk later, guys.